Hi, I just wanted to show you a few updates for Sector. There's a new version of Sector out, so I uh, just wanted to show you a few updates for Sector and one quick hit tip in OneNote. So if we go to our program in Sector, the thing that I wanted to show you was the themes that are available. So here we are in Sector. Uh, you can see that I've applied this theme to this program here. Now the themes can be found here. It's pretty small. Um, sometimes a bit hard to see but if you click on themes there you can search them and you can see all of the themes that are available here okay I've created a few themes this one here that I'm using is called theme one I've also got uh, ASC CPA so I've got this one here that has the CPA in the background as well so if I preview that you'll see what the theme looks like so uh, yep that's one of them or if I just go back to the first one this one here with just a random image in the background there. So you can see there's other themes that I could apply to this as well that are just standard themes that come with Sector. So there's some of the themes. Now, if you want to, you can add your own custom theme. So you can create a theme. Now this theme could apply to all of your department sites, for example, or a certain year level or a certain subject, whichever way you want to do it. So um, you can make the theme public. So if you wanted to share this theme with other people, you could do so really easily. So uh, we'll give it a name. So we'll just call it theme two for an exciting name. Uh, the background could just be a, a color if we wanted to in the background, or I could choose an image. Now, one of the places that you could choose an image to go in the background, I like to suggest is you could use Pixabay. They have images that'll work, but Unsplash is really good as well. So if you go to this website, unsplash.com and just search for abstract okay abstract images there's heaps of them okay um, and that's one of the ones that I used for that background so if we just choose this one here the great thing about these images is you can download them for free and you can use them anytime and you don't need to any attribution at all so they're free copyright free images and you can see I've downloaded it now so that's cool so if I go back here, let's choose an image and let's choose that one there that I've just downloaded. Okay, so now you can see that image has gone into the background and I can make the background translucent. So you can see that gives a nice effect where you can see the image underneath the text that I'm adding. Uh, again, I can choose the background color for the main part of the text there. So it could be dark which doesn't particularly look good for this picture so I'm going to keep that as white I can change the color of the text that's going to go on there and I can change the accent color as well all right and which will change that top bit there so you can really get an interesting looking theme going on that's kind of customized to how you want to look at it I can increase the size of the font so I might want size 12 font and you've got some great options here for nice looking fonts which again, you can customize to the look that you want to, uh, th that you're after for when you're doing it. So there we go, I've created my theme, I've called it theme two. I'll just click on save and now it's available there. So I can just apply it now to my content that I've already had in here. So if we preview that, you now say so this is what my, um, my course looks like. So uh, you can see that on my cover page here, I've got a video, I've got a gallery uh, that you can scroll through and I've got a quiz which I'm going to get into next. So that's an overview of how you can create a theme or apply a theme and make your cover page for Sector look really, really good. Here's the student view. So if they go into their courses, they can see, for example, most of us have uh, the lessons down here, down the side, and we have this, uh, this here, the syllabus that's going on. So um, that's pretty typical for most people what they see. So here's the course that, that I've just created, okay? So it really is a lot richer experience, I think. So we've got links, uh, I've got dates here, um, I've got a video that can play within uh, sector here, I've got a, a, a picture gallery uh, that's going on there. Uh, it's, 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 it's great. And also we've got this quiz here which I'm going to get into. One of the new additions to Creator in the latest version of Sector is this thing down here, which is a poll. So like all of the other elements, you just click and drag it in there 
so you can create a poll so you can put uh, text in there whether the polls open or close or whether students will see it or not uh, give different options so it's just a multiple choice thing and then students will see that so I'm just going to cancel this one you can see actually I'll just bin it you can see I already did a poll here uh, on my on my course and this one is open so that means the students will see it so here's the students one they'll get the poll they'll vote and they will then see all of the other responses that people have put in there so you can quickly chuck in a poll in fact on any lesson that you want to in sector so if I was going across here to uh, this lesson here in sector and I wanted to put a poll in I could quickly drag it in there ask my question uh, option A or option B so I'll just option A and option B and I'm going to make this open and apply now when the student clicks on that particular lesson you can say they get the poll it's open so they can vote and they can see their choice there so easy way that you can um, put polls in there in sector third thing that I wanted to show you was this new section in OneNote so if you go to the insert menu in your OneNote you should have this thing on the end here called education resources so when you select that you come to this uh, thing here and this is brand new so we can find lessons you can do it by uh, by grade level you can do it by standard so we're looking at the Australian curriculum resources for example but it's all over the world that you can look at there so Australian curriculum standards uh, and let's say we're looking for science and this is going to be on chemistry and for year seven you've got these different ones here so you can really drill down as to the exact kind of outcome that you're looking for and you can select more than one of those and then search those so um, here's all of the resources that relate to that search in the Australian curriculum okay so once you select that resource you can preview it and see what it looks like uh, you can see where it comes from the source of so that will go straight to that page where it's or the site where that resource comes from and you can just click on get and what that does is in one night it'll put a link there for the students that then links them to that activity um, so it's a great way that you can find resources and uh, puts a link straight into OneNote when you're searching for resources you could also distinguish what type of resource that you want so is an article an interactive exercise a lab experiment a quiz teacher guide tutor all of those sorts of things that are on here worksheet that you can actually be uh, searching for as part of the uh, the search that you're going through for the resource so it has some featured resources there at the bottom, just a few of them. This is going to be an ongoing thing. It's the latest thing from Microsoft, so check it out.